Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Debbie Beaudry and I'd like to welcome you to EDG 6224 U.S. Curricular Trends and Issues. Don't worry, the class doesn't start until August 26th, but I thought I'd give you the syllabus now to give you a head start so you could have everything that you need to be successful in the course. I'll just review the main points that I think you need to know before the course starts from the syllabus. First of all, my contact information is here. You can always email me through the FAU email. I actually do live in New Jersey and I work at Rutgers University between 8.30 and 4.30 and I take a train to work but if you'd like you can text me between 6.30 a.m. and 9.30 p.m. I have time usually on the train in the morning and on my way home and just ask that you don't text me after 9.30 p.m. I'm also available on Skype or we could set up a Blackboard Collaborate session. I wanted to point out to you that we have four synchronous class sessions scheduled and what that means is that the expectation is that everybody will be online at the same time. They're all on Wednesdays because the course schedule we had listed as Wednesday for this class and the four times that we will meet are September 2nd, September 25th, October 23rd and November 20th and we'll meet from 5.30 to 7 p.m. Let's just go down here a little. I want to point out to you other things that you'll need. You'll need the textbook, the critical issues in education, dialogues and dialectics. And you should notice that it's the eighth edition. You'll need the eighth edition because we want to be looking at the most current trends and issues. And as you know, in education, things are always changing. So look for the eighth edition. You'll also need to have a subscription to live text because we have a critical assignment that you'll need to load to live text. So there's a link in here that explains it to you. Some of you probably already have a subscription to live text. Here's a summary of all of the points for the assignments in the class, how you will be assessed. I'll be giving you more detail about each of these assignments as we go through the semester. We will be working in groups as we go through the semester, but no worries, there's no group projects, but you'll be helping each other out as you work in groups. Time commitment. Even though this is an online class, the expectation is that you'll commit to approximately nine hours a week of coursework through the 15 weeks in order for you to be successful. Some weeks will require more time, others will require less. Your, the expectation is that you'll log into Blackboard at least three times a week. It would be very hard for you to successfully complete this class if you only did work on the weekends, but I did try to schedule. I'm going to try and post everything that's new on Wednesdays, so that gives you some weekdays to work on things and also during uh, the weekend if that's what you need. But some of your assignments like discussion board posts will be due Saturday at the end of the day. So you'll have to keep an eye on the schedule to make sure that you're keeping up with everything. We have a lot to cover in, um, in the 15 weeks. Let's just go down and there's an outline of the units that will be posted in Blackboard. I'll be opening up Blackboard on Oct August 26th for this course. That's a Monday. And if I go down here, there is one section that I think at the very end of the syllabus, there are some tips for being successful in the online graduate courses. So I think it would be worthwhile for you to take a couple minutes and read through that. You should read through the whole syllabus as well. But before class begins, that would be something that would be useful for you to read through. So I hope you enjoy the rest of what's left of summer. If you're teaching, I know that some of you are gonna be in your classrooms getting ready this week, or if you have your own children, you'll be starting to get them ready and off to school as well. So I wish you a smooth transition into the new school year, and I look forward to working with you August 26th. Thank you.